I'm Sarita Chowdhury. Very excited, very honored to be here, to be asked to be here. I'm already overwhelmed. Oh my God, working girls. Lizzie Borden, very important. The Tokyo Story, <sighs> classic. I just worked with um, a director, Koganada, for the film After Yang, and he uh, loves Ozu. My father is Bengali, and my mother and him live in Calcutta now, and this is one of Ray's movies, The Big City. His trilogy is what we all love and see, but I recently saw this, and I've now become addicted to his newer films, um, like Hero and this one. Oh yeah, here's his other movie. I think this is a brilliant movie. It's called Hero, also by Ray. And it's, it's, it's just about an actor who gets on a train. And what's so great is he's so famous. And as he <clears throat> is in the train and he goes to like the restaurant car or the bathroom, he runs into different classes of people who tell him the truth. Um, and it's, it's kind of stunning to watch. So the only poster I have in my house is of um, Monica Vitti. Well, I have one of Pasolini also, but um, Monica, I think she, I grew up in Italy and um, I think she was one of the first actresses for me that wasn't the usual busty, provocative. I felt she was so beautiful, but so intellectual. Um, I don't even know how old she was, but she always looked like she was 40 and she was probably 22. Um, I ran into her at a, at the Venice Film Festival and she was looking in a mirror and I was, we were there for Mississippi Masala and I was just staring at her and she saw me stare at her and she said, um, a very humorous, lovely thing to me. She said, she held up the mirror and she said, tu non hai bisogno di questo, which means you don't need this because I was 24. I need it now. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Monica. And Eclisa is one of my favorite, Antonioni. A special day, which I think is una giornata particolare. For a while, I, I don't know, this I think I consider to be my favorite film. There's something about Mastroianni and Scola's actors that they're so noble and yet they're breaking rules. and. I, it's so rare to see nobleness and pain and yet going forward. I, I don't know. It makes, you, it makes you miss that kind of um, structure and acting. Okay, now I'm so happy. Um, two films. Uh, Francois Truffaut's Day for Night. And then right beside it, I wasn't even thinking of Stephen Frears, who I think is amazing and this is my beautiful Andrette um, which was so important when it came out oh my god it was like seeing every uncle and auntie I knew but you wouldn't dare put it on screen it's like so loving and so violent it made me fall in love with London my beautiful Andrette oh my god I don't know why that makes me cry Pier Pasolini trilogy which is a lot. Like, it's hard to watch one Pasolini without it taking over your week. This is also a great cover. It's like the devil and a nun with blue tights. God bless Pasolini. Okay.